There are defining moments in life that change everything. Sarah, do you take Carter to be your husband? Do you promise to... Don't marry him! I love you, Sarah. I will always love you. Sorry. <laughs> this was my defining moment. Hey, everybody. The bridesmaid just got a little case of cold feet. She'll be back. Let's party! Come on! Hey, where are you going? We're gonna do cake in a bit! Ah! Ah! I had to find someplace else to stay. The brochure says it's quality furnished short-term housing. It's more like a way station for guys who just got divorced, dumped, or are otherwise incapable of buying their own couch. You're living in paradise. We got indoor parking, we got a killer gym, complimentary Sunday brunch, and we are four exits from Hollywood. Actresses come through here all the time. Sarah was the only girl I've ever been with. Have to move on, son. She's a whore. You are a free man now. You can finally live. We are taking you under our wing. You honestly think that you're going to have a meaningful relationship with some random 25-year-old that you meet at a Jamba Juice? Is she Asian? Truth is, it was nice being around guys who knew what I was going through. Like Frank Russo. After 16 years of marriage, he and his you. wife had grown apart. But then Frank found true happiness with Lauren. Then Stacy. Then Jessica. Dr. Stuart Weber. Stuart fell madly in love with a young divorce attorney who, it turns out, was very good at her job. Well, she gave me chlamydia once. See if she wants half of that back. He's hiding his assets until a settlement is reached. Unfortunately, not all his assets. Gil Bardis. 20 minutes. Oh, not now. I'm bloated. I had pizza for lunch. I will do from the side. I'll do all the work. Uh, I don't want you to touch me. Gil, I'm home. Oh, my God. His wife caught him having the world's worst affair. And me. The new guy, Carter. His bride just dumped him at the altar. Do you have to lead with that? It's really your defining characteristic right now. This is my new friend, May, and her daughter, Jill. Hi. She's a sure thing. Let's let these two get to know each other, shall we? Hi, I need to borrow Carter for a minute. We'll be right back. Frank's insane. You're not going home with Mrs. Robinson's son. You are going home with Amber. This is Carter. Stuart told me your fiance died. Rock climbing accident. You're welcome. Had to go with Amber. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. You didn't go home with May? Oh my God, I slept with her daughter for nothing. After being here for a few weeks, I was feeling a little less lonely. We are not letting this night end. Who wants to break into a Catholic school? Yeah! He's unstoppable. Switch it up. Oh, no, Farrah, we're in loafers. No, 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 no. Oh. We should play children's basketball every day. Oh, not, not. <laughs> Why are we running? Because it's awesome. <laughs> I love you guys. We're a man and we love each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time to get young Carter here back on the horse. Go. There you go. <clears throat> there he goes. Here he comes. Wow, he didn't even break stride. How does he get a girl like that to even give him the time of day? Charm, confidence, and that's his dog. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey guys. No, no, no. Maybe. Uh. Dad, you know, Fiona's mom would totally go out with you. Why not? I'll ask her to lunch. Great. She's super nice and has really big boobs. Or dinner. 